What is going on everybody? Welcome to your 12th I guess Ionic tutorial. My name is Mehul and in this tutorial what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export our Ionic application to an APK file so that you can just upload it on Play Store or you can just you know pretty much distribute it among your friends so that actually the people can install it because right now what we have is a simple website with some sort of things like ionic tags and basically we have angular js set it up so first of all let me just say ionic surf so as to just take a final look at how this website looks like so as you can see this is how the application would look like on an android device and if you go down right there you can see that new news feeds are loaded automatically so that's pretty cool okay now I can just quit that now what you need before you can export your application to a specific platform like for example I'll consider Android for this one you'll need an Android SDK now for Android SDK just go ahead and just go to this developer.android.com and you need not to download this android 6 api currently this is the latest sdk so i am downloading this one but if you just watch this video tutorial later on someday then like maybe 6.1 or 6.5 or maybe 7 android 7 is released then you could probably download that as well okay so the next thing we need to do is obviously edit uh, the name of our application I don't want my application to be like hello world at Google Play Store so that doesn't look very professional so what I'm gonna do is go to this config.xml and right here I'm gonna edit this to let's just say news reader and uh, let's just, just keep it news reader only get latest happenings around the world and you can probably just edit this one as well let me just say mehul at the rate gmail.com and for now right here you can just in shots.com or probably code them because after all i have made this application so my name here here we go then pretty much don't mess with any other thing right there seems cool the next thing inside ionic project do the similar thing this is my news reader all right and then i guess in package.json as well you can just make the similar changes well it's not really required for package.json but you can just do that and just change this to version 1.0.0 if you like or let's just keep it to this one only doesn't matter okay now the next thing we need to download Android 6 API and to do that you can either make use of the Android studio if you have or you can actually download it somewhere here yes Android 6 API download so this is sort of a splash page actually Android SDK now you can just download this Android studio right here or you can just simply download the SDK I, I guess uh, there was some sort of yeah this one standalone SDK tools if you don't want Android studio so you can download this and then once you download this pretty much what you'll get is something like this so this you would get this Android SDK manager and uh, I already have actually I have Android studio installed so this comes built-in so if you are you know just looking for a real simple way to download this SDK and set it up as well so you can just go ahead with Android Studio and it will just give you this one as well so currently I am myself downloading this 
as you can see this is Android in platform and Android 6 API so I am downloading both of these and it would be downloaded in a while so I'm just gonna minimize it for now and uh, once it is downloaded actually we can do pretty much a bit of stuff right now as well so what we need to do here is say ionic platform add Android and hit enter now pay close attention to here you can see that this platforms folder is created and uh, then it will fetch some information from github or something like that now because I have already done that previously therefore it does not download some sort of stuff but if you are doing it for the first time it would download some sort of repositories from github so once you are done you will see this nice little folder right there android and uh, then pretty much when you are done with that just go to platforms android and wait for your sdk to download now so i'm gonna pause this video right here and once my sdk is installed then we'll continue with this one okay so now it looks like we are pretty much done with it so i'm gonna clear the console right there and uh, i'm gonna say ionic android release and hit enter oh wait a minute it should be ionic build android and release and hit enter okay oh okay so go back to directory so that you are again in your hello world application folder and then type this command and uh, <clears throat> wait for it now it's downloading some sort of gradle stuff and just wait for it to download <clears throat> so okay so all right let's see how many dots it would make and ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. And actually yeah one more thing I want to talk about is that currently the APK file which we are building from this ionic built Android release is actually a unsigned APK file so that particularly means that you have not signed that and the major differences between a signed and an unsigned APK is sort of a folder inside your root directory so we need some sort of Java tool to do that and uh, the reason we need to sign APK is probably because you won't be able to upload it to Play Store if you don't sign your APK so I guess Google Play requires you to sign your APK and uh, we'll be taking a look at that as well how can we do that later on but for now let's just focus on how to pretty much you know get the APK file out of our project so that at least we can view it on our mobile devices and see how it works and there are a lot a lot a lot of dots right there and I don't know when it's gonna end so probably let me just pause the video again maybe alright so I w went to take a nap and looks like it's done so We've got a couple of notes right there, so let's just read them one by one. Uh, that's gonna take forever. So, going down, down, down. So many dots right there. Okay, so it finally ended right there somewhere. Then it downloaded a hell lot of other things, not very much interesting. Then some sort of work started. Then it says that some input file use or overwrite a deprecated API. Well, that shouldn't just make any sort of difference because all of these are notes and we should really just worry about errors 
let's just ignore warnings and notes so this is uses or overrides the deprecated api we compile with excellent and i guess this is the same error as like that one okay so we have pretty much done it and uh, <clears throat> this is our apk file path and as i said you this would be an unsigned apk because uh, I'm not actually signing it right now so let's just visit this so it's platform Android and where it is build outputs then APK <clears throat> and this is the one so this is pretty much what our application looks like for Android and it's about 2 MBs right there so that's all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial i'll probably show you the working of this if it works so if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching